Let's take a look at object representation with string or REPR representation function in Python. So both of these functions pretty much do the same thing, except they don't. Sorry, that was a trick question, but let's have a look at why they are different. So here, as you can see, the syntax is pretty much the same. So we're just getting the F string, we're getting the dog name, and we're getting the name and the age. One thing that you may notice is I have used exclamation mark R here, and I have not used it over here for the name. Let's see what the impact of this exclamation mark R is versus not having it. So here is the output. With the exclamation mark, you can see when I create the dog object, I have added in a new line character. So when we do the str version, you can see that the line break over here that you don't necessarily see. But when you do ex exclamation mark R, you actually see the line break character as you originally intended it in your original input. So you do see that with the exclamation mark R. So this bit over here, that's what makes the line break appear in the output like this versus like this without it. And the other important difference I want you to realize is that there's a print statement over here while there is no print statement here. So when you use the str function, this is intended for user-friendly print statements, while d is used by developers for debugging. So although both have very similar syntax, but they behave differently. Now, if I, if you were thinking, if I comment this out, so I can just change its name so that it's invalid, so you cannot find it. And now when you do, and you can see the output here, for the print statement, it still prints the user-friendly version. But for this statement over here, just for the D, for debugging, it just prints this. So in summary, str is for human and user-friendly readable string. So for print, this works. str is your choice that you should go for. Rep R is developer-friendly. So when you have used rep R, you can use it for things like just typing in the object variable MA outputs. So if I re-enable this function, rep R, and, and now if I run this over here, you can see just by doing a D, we get this output where this is a print statement for str so this is user friendly for developers and as you can see it is used for debugging too so here this is an average action of a developer trying to debug the code seeing what does this variable ac actually represent in this case it represents the dog that's been created so you get this output so rep r is also compatible with REPL, which stands for read what you type evaluate print the result and loop back for the next input so this is basically what you see in jupyter notebooks you can just print the last variable in the cell and it will output the correct result. So just remember, rep R is developer friendly, str is user friendly, human readable. So this is a perfect example. This is human readable and this is developer friendly. A human would have to use a print statement, a developer or machine can just use key variable name and it would be represented like this automatically. So they both look very similar, str and rep R. Just notice that you can do things like this and with rep R you can do things like this. That's why you need rep R for this to work.